afternoon, this is a J-Man show on WBCA 102.9 FM, Boston Folk Community Radio Station. My name is Jai Bonner, and my guest today is Tamara, is Tamara Glenn, a wonderful actress. Hi, Tamara. Good, good to see you on the show today. How, how are you doing? I'm good. How are you? Thank you for having me on your show. That's a, oh, oh, that's a blessing. I'm doing wonderful. You're, such, you're so welcome. So good to see you, you know, because you know, I thought... Yeah, because um, okay. So my question to you is, how did you start in in, in the in, in entertainment field? Because you were wonderful on Grown Pains, Miami Vice, and so many movies. So, so 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 what made you want to come an actress? So I um I'm originally from uh, my home state of Arkansas, and that's where I currently reside. And oh. so, long story short, I grew up singing in my little Southern Baptist church. And uh, that led to talent competitions and talent competitions locally. Um, I was performing in and winning. Um, and then that went regional. And then that led to um, more national um, talent competitions, singing always. And um, so, yeah, an agent from Los Angeles um, spotted me and um, I auditioned for him. Mm -hmm. And um, I, I was, I think I was 12 years old and my mom was there with me during the whole process. So I auditioned for him and he asked my mom if she would be willing um, to move me to Los Angeles to pursue acting. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, all I really wanted to do in life was to be a Dallas Cowboys cheerleader. <laughs> so, um, yeah, it, it didn't work out that way. But instead, I had this beautiful and I still have, um, you know, it's, it's nice to be a working actress um, this many years later. So, yeah, that's how it all got started. Okay, that's a lot of idea. So what, part, so what are you working on right now, Carl? Oh, goodness. Uh, right now, it's a super busy time of year. Um, I am best known for my role, uh, Samantha Thomas from Halloween 5, The Revenge of Michael Myers. So um, I am on the convention circuit where I go fly out and I sign autographs for fans all weekend at the conventions. And um, that is just a super, super, super amazing treat for me. I, I love the fans. This is all about the fans. So, um, yeah, I'm out on the convention circuit and then I'm working on, um, I'm shooting a movie next weekend or this coming weekend. I have a, an appearance in Maine and then I leave the appearance and I go straight to set and I'm going to jump on set for a few hours. And then I'm flying from Maine out to Seattle uh, for a movie premiere of mine that I did last year with CJ Graham, Darcy DeMoss, uh, Richie Ramone, uh, Tommy, Tommy McLaughlin. So, um, and that is called Vengeance to Bloodlines. That's another horror movie. Um, it's more of a um, hyper, um, it's more of a um, hyper sensitive Friday the 13th fan film. But we had such a great cast. Um, Jason Brooks um, is the one that spearheaded that uh, project. So super grateful for Jason and our cast. Um, I'm excited to see it. I haven't seen it myself. And then uh, this past March, um, I was out in Seattle uh, doing a movie called Ouija, A New Beginning. Mm -hmm. So, um, and then I've got a couple of more coming up this year and then I'm already booking into 2023. And then I've got, um, I've got a new uh, TV series I don't know where it's going to be able to call home yet, but, you know, they're looking at some of the major streaming platforms. So, um, and that's an all-star cast. And um, yeah, it's just a crazy busy time right now. And I'm very grateful to keep this, keep these wheels turning and the machine oiled and just, you know, stay as busy as I can. I love it. I can, I can definitely tell. And I'm still got to see that you're out there, you know, doing these conventions, working on set. You know, that's what one of the see you doing it. Um, is there any chance you might kind of boss up a convention here as well? Oh, I have never had a Boston appearance. So, um, yeah, I mean, that would just be delightful. I would love this coming weekend will be my first main appearance. Okay. So I'll be up in Bangor, Maine at Weekend of the Wicked. So, um, yeah, I just, I find it, 
so exciting mm -hmm. that there are so many horror fans in the northern part of the country. Um, I mean, they're scattered throughout, don't get me wrong, but I love their passion for, you know, the horror genre up there. I just think it's super fun and yeah. really, really, really grateful. Yes, I definitely agree, you know, and um, like I said, I'm, I've been a fan of this ever since, uh, since I saw you on Go uh, going Pains with Mike Siva, so yeah, so. Awesome. Uh, yeah, so, and yeah, so what, so what was like to walk in Going Pains? What, what was that? It was great. I mean, you know, I was, I mean, who wasn't a fan of Growing Pains, you know, back in the day when we had solid, really good, um, you know, those 80, big 80s sitcoms. Um, Tracy Gold was the sweetest. I really, really, really just had so much admiration for her. But yeah, it was a beautiful um, experience. I loved it. The entire cast was awesome. That's wonderful. Yeah. Um, so what advice can you give back to those that want to be famous like you? What advice can you give us that want to follow your footsteps? Well, I mean, number one, um, I want to correct you on something. I, I, I'm not famous. All I, all I am, honestly, I'm just a very hard working actress. Okay. You know, I would tell anyone to approach this. Um, you know, I know social media there's a lot of smoke and mirrors on social media. Mm -hmm. And um, if you really, really want this, um, you know, I would say go for your dreams, but don't expect anything overnight. Mm -hmm. um, it's, you know, this is a very complicated process mm -hmm. and it takes time and just have fun, but um, also be patient. Yeah, I can definitely understand that, you know. Yeah, being patient. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So how did so so how did COVID, so how did COVID nineteen affect you if it have been being shut down? Oh, um, other than crying every day for months. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, um, COVID was very hard on me. It was, um, the entire industry was shut down, as you know, and um, I think I relived every positive and along with every negative um, of my entire life. I definitely had too much time to think about, you know, and I just, I really got in my head and I really did a lot of soul searching. Um, and I don't know, I think the whole quarantine thing, I think it made me a better and stronger person. And I was able to identify with myself more in going forward and what I wanted life to look like post post COVID. Oh. So um, yeah, I worked out a lot. I cooked a lot. I ate a lot. <laughs> you know. So yeah. I see. Um, I see. So, so did you finish? So, so did you go to college? So I took uh, film classes oh. out at um, Los Angeles Valley College. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, I took film classes. So, and I've also worked on. I've had my own um, multimedia, multi-service media company. Mm -hmm. um, so I've been involved in a lot of local, regional, and national commercials. Oh. Um, so, you know, small, small production is just very much of who I am. Mm -hmm. Um, I've done, I've probably done at least over 500, um, smaller commercials. And then the first commercial I ever did, um, I was 12 years old oh, wow. and it was for Gloria Vanderbilt. Okay. So yeah, that was a long, long, long time ago, but, um, but yeah, so I'm, you know, I, I'm, I'm blessed in the fact that I've got experience behind the camera as well as in front, which I think as an actress, mm -hmm. that really can resonate, um, you know, when you're on set working with these filmmakers 
and producers because it just gives you, you know what they're talking about. You know that time is money, money is time. You know the importance, you know, you understand the value and the worth of everything they're trying to do. So that's another thing that I would recommend for anyone wanting to get into the business. Uh, there's so much wonderful content online. Mm -hmm. So, you know, just go and, and watch videos like how to make movies and um, yeah, and then once you're on set, you're going to have such a beautiful appreciation and then you can really decide if it's something that, you know, you want to spend the rest of your life doing or do you want to be, a, you know, do it as a hobby just for fun mm -hmm. or um, yeah, there's a there's a lot of um you know, there's a lot of components to all of this. Mm -hmm. And um, there's just this day and age with all the platforms, um, you know, there's, there's something out there for everyone, you know, and a lot of people are getting into more special effects, makeup and um, practical effects. So um, yeah, there's something out there for, for everyone. I definitely, I definitely agree. Um, yeah, because I actually went to college myself and got my social degree and now I, I took a class at Boston Input Network. That's how I got this right. podcast. So, so I'm into film. So I'm doing film in the film media myself, you know. So yeah, so I'm something I'm, I'm definitely passionate about. That's awesome. Thank you myself, you know. Yeah. Um. So, 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 where do you see yourself, you know, years from now down the line? Still acting and producing sh shows? Or? You know, I don't want to look that far in advance. I okay. used to before mm -hmm. COVID. Yeah. And okay. you know, right now since you know, we're in post COVID, whatever. Um, you know, I just really want to take it one day at a time. Mm -hmm. And I don't want to jump ahead of myself because that's a very scary place for me that I'm still trying to, you know, mm -hmm. I'm still trying to mentally, emotionally, um, because, you know, the whole COVID thing, it, it made all of us realize anything can happen at any God-given point in time, yeah, you know, true. and I think it's just important to live in the moment and um, have fun and mm -hmm. really just go after your dreams and love your family, your friends, you know, um, take good care of yourself and just, and just see what happens. Throw it out there. <laughs> yeah. I, I can say about myself. I, I definitely agree. So, yeah. um, so, so what are your plan for the holidays coming up? Any plans for the holidays? Oh, um, so I fly out Thursday. That's day after tomorrow. Um, I'm out on the road until basically the end of November. Oh. So right before Thanksgiving, I'll come back um, to my where I am now, my home state of Arkansas. And I will spend the holidays with my son and my daughter-in-law. Okay. Oh, yeah, an extended family and a few really close friends. Okay, I see. That's one way here. Um, and I don't even know what I'm doing Halloween yet. And I'll tell oh. you a secret. I will tell you a secret. This okay. is, I don't know if I've ever told this in an interview or not, but, um, you know, I did Halloween 5 mm -hmm. in 1989. And do you know, to this day, I have never dressed up for Halloween. Wow. <laughs> I have never dressed up. So I don't know. Um, right now, I think Halloween falls on a Tuesday. Yes. Um, I mean, I'm adding dates on, you know, more add-on dates are coming in, you know, yes. frequently. So um, I don't know. Halloween will be um, a little interesting this year. Maybe I'll get brave and go get me a costume and <laughs> dress up or something. At least I'm going to carve my my annual pumpkin. So that's always yeah. fun. Yeah, I'll, I'll probably just go like candy, candy to, to the kids. Yeah. yeah. I, haven't trust, I haven't trusted since I was a kid, so I know what you mean. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And I'll watch, and I'll watch, I always watch, um, you know, I watch all the Halloween movies. Mm -hmm. Um. And then I watch other really good horror movies. And then, yeah, then you go to bed and wake up and it's November 1st. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's how it always seems to go. Yeah, November 1st and then Christmas time is winter, when it's winter, you know, you know right. so I, yeah, yeah. So what, so what did you like to do? So what did you like to do for fun? When you're not working, you know, for fun, you know, fun to uh, travel, travel wise? You know, um, 
I guess for fun, I mean, when I'm at home, I just spend time. I don't go out. Mm -hmm. um, I read quite a bit. Um, I love watching murder mysteries and stuff like that. And I like real life crime drama type stuff. And um, I spend time with my dog. I spend time with my son and my daughter-in-law. And I really don't, I mean, that's like my fun. Mm -hmm. um, it's, it really takes a lot out of you when you're traveling and having to memorize you know, so much dialogue and everything. And um, so at home, I just keep things like super chill. You know, I cook a lot. Um, yeah, I'm very like domesticated. So um, yeah, I mean, I, I have fun when when I work. That oh. That's my time with the fans. And when I'm out there, I am enjoying every, every minute of it. I well that I definitely agree. I think you should always have fun with fun at work, you know. Work should always be fun, you know. You know, so I definitely agree. Okay, so I okay, so my okay, so my, my last question, my last question to you is 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 what do you think what do you think people can do to make the world better to change the world in your opinion? What can people do better? Uh, yes, to be, yes, to, to change to yes to, to, to change the world and to make the world better for. I would just at this point, honestly, probably just be more understanding. Yeah. Just be more understanding and more grateful for what we do have. Mm -hmm. And just be loving. And I mean, you know, where, you know, something that really made me remember during COVID was, you know what, we're all in this together. Yes. No one is excluded. So I think it's just if we have more of a kinder place in our hearts mm -hmm. and more understanding. Um, I mean, I just think that's really important for everyone's emotional health um, first and overall, yeah. you know. And we need more smiles and we need okay. more hello, you know, saying hello when you're shopping or, you know, just some kindness and understanding and because you never know what anyone is going through. Yeah, that's definitely true. My, mom, my mother always told me that, you know, you never know. So you, it's always you never know yes. even what. And it's really funny because, you know. People like, you know, on these social media platforms, they're posting every day is just beautiful and, you know, life is just great, but they've got, you know, the reality is there's so much that goes on mm -hmm. in people's lives that they never talk about. Yes. So, you know, I think that's just it. Be kind, be understanding, um, and just give people just give people more time to process whatever they're going through, whether it be good or bad and give people space. I think after quarantine, everyone needs like more space now. Oh, yeah. You know, I think that just did something. Mm -hmm. I know it did it to me, yeah. um, but it's just really important, you know, and we've got to just live and love. And, you know, if you mess up one day, then get up the next day and start all over again. You know, I mean, I do that all the time. I mean, you know, <laughs> yeah. But, but yeah. Yeah, I definitely agree. People have different, different people need more space and time now, especially now. You know, they do. Yes. They do. Absolutely. Yeah. So this is a wonderful interview. It was honor to talk to you. So, so how can we find, so how can people find you? So, how can people reach out to you on social media? How can we find you on social media if you want to contact you? So Facebook is under, I've got um, three pages. I've got a fan page under Tamara Glenn and it's T-A-M-A-R-A-G-L-Y-N-N. -N. And then I've got two personal pages that I allow fans on both of those. And then Instagram, uh, you guys can follow me at Tam Glenn. It's just T-A-M-G-L-Y-N-N. -N. And I'm not on Twitter. I'm not on TikTok. Um, yeah. <laughs> I, you know, I prefer Facebook, um, but, you know, yeah. Yeah. Okay, this is wonderful to hear, and this is such an honor to meet you, and I thank you for coming on my show today, you know, I mean, I've, I've been, like I said, I've been a huge fan of Rosa, 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 of Rosa,
and just be a thank you and just to be able to talk to you face to face and personally you know i mean first you know it's just just on you know so and i wish you much success you know and hope, hopefully hopefully we can meet someday you know if you come to boston or from in california hopefully we can we can meet someday but i would love to meet you you know and i also want to just do a shout out happy early halloween and thank you for you know thank you to everyone for supporting the you know this franchise and michael myers the shape and um yeah it's it's very surreal after i think this is the 30 i did it 33 years ago oh, wow. and it was really it was really funny um real fast I was recently at a convention in Oklahoma City, mm -hmm. and I had the, the most sweetest moment. Um, the new Michael Myers shape, James Jude Courtney, was there, and I also had my Michael Myers, Don Shanks. Oh. So it was very surreal. I, I teared up a little bit, and um, I was just like, wow, the legacy, it all just lives on. So yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, very grateful i definitely i definitely i can definitely understand that and i agree you know i'm glad to, i'm definitely glad that your legacy, legacy is like it, it live along to me and people that came up to you know go watching this so that's that's one that's one wonderful day you know yeah absolutely well this is like this was a lot to meet you and i appreciate you coming on my show and hopefully we can, thank you you know have a thank show you. thank you so much for having me on and i will return um anytime Okay. And I will keep updating you and everyone else, all of your viewers, um, with everything that's that's coming out. There's a, there's a lot going on, so um, I'm just I'm really excited to talk more about it as I know more dates mm -hmm. when everything is releasing and the new TV series and all of that stuff. So yeah, well, this gonna be around for a while. <laughs> Me too. Thank you. And you always walk out. You always walk out on my show. You know. I'd love, I'd definitely love to interview you again whenever you, whenever you have a project come on please reach out to me so i can interview you about you know you always you always work on my show and you know i always feel for hear what, hear what you work on you know so and please stay in touch you know, and we'll definitely yes we will definitely stay in touch you've got my number you've got I my did, email you too you got mine you got mine too you know and if you get something least from tonight i'll make sure it's the biggest paid you know tomorrow on, on next week okay so you know yeah. All right. Thank you so much. Me too. Thank you so much. Be Thanks. in touch. Yes, you too. I'll stay, stay in touch. You know, God bless you. I appreciate you. All right. God bless you. God bless you. Bye. Bye, Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye.